Nuclear waste could be used to treat cancer. This according to Oak Ridge National Lab. It's possible because of a program in the 50s that failed. The lab is shipping drugs made from fuel used in that program to treat some of the most aggressive forms of cancer. Tandish reporter Vinay Simlot explains how it works. For almost 40 years, the radioactive material behind this glass sat useless. We were able to take a material that was otherwise slated to be disposed of uh, in a nuclear waste uh, repository and recover an incredibly valuable material. From a failed project, this team at Oak Ridge National Laboratory is making radioisotopes for cancer therapies. So far, the FDA approved that therapy for bone cancer. It's under trial for glioblastoma and acute myeloid leukemia. It's a very valuable uh, way to treat aggressive cancers. With conventional radiation. In order to get enough energy deposited into the tumor, you also have to deposit energy in other areas of the body. These new therapies target the cancer without damaging the surrounding tissue under strict radiation protocols, behind shields and concrete walls. Scientists turn the nuclear waste into cancer therapies. When a form of uranium decays, this team refines it. Its half-life is 10 days, which means after that time, half of what's in this vial is gone. The team kept at it throughout the pandemic, constantly working to get the next shipment of life-saving radioactive material out. And that's part of what has kept people coming in here every day throughout the COVID pandemic, completing their essential work, is just knowing the impact that their work has uh, on everybody else around the world. Vinay Simlot reporting, Oak Ridge National Lab is one of the world's largest producers of that isotope. It doesn't appear naturally, so pharmaceutical companies rely on ORNL to produce that life-saving radioactive material. ORNL sends it as far away as Japan and Australia.